Hello, hello. We are live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Monday, our regular time. I am Shadana Cheney, your host, the Influential Petite. I am a life coach and fashion designer, and my overall goal is to encourage and inspire women to live a life of passion and purpose so that they experience a sense of self-fulfillment. Um, I'm currently on a journey of self-fulfillment, so I'm always encouraging people and just clients to just be self-fulfilled in life because it will really bring you happiness. So every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, I go live and I bring you women's empowerment tips or tips to empower just people in general. And I've been bringing on a special guest with me, a colleague. Her name is Ashley Janae, um, and I'm actually going to let her in the video and I'll be telling you the topic. Um, so let me let Ashley Janae in and Hey Ashley. Hey there. How's it going? Good. Welcome. Good. We are live. Thank you for joining us. And if you're not live with us, thank you for whoever's watching the replay. Today, our topic is reflection, where the entire month of December will be focused on reflection and doing subtopics around that. So December is a month of reflection. You have a chance to look at everything you've done throughout the year, the good, the bad, um, some of your accomplishments, you know, your wins, and some things that didn't go so great that you can possibly change. And going into that our subtopic for reflection will be knowing your strong points so what does that mean um knowing what you're good at and how you can utilize that so me and ashley will be giving some topics around knowing your strong points just a few just a tidbit <laughs> to help you out for this week um until we see you again next week so ashley did you want to introduce yourself um, yeah, I'll just be quick. Um, my name is Ashley Janae. I love all things confidence. I love all things purpose. I love all things fabulous. So that is me. Mm -hmm. Of course, you'll have all, all my information in the comments so you can contact me. Yes, Ashley is everything fabulous. <laughs> I know that for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, so I have my notes right here about what I'll be talking about. So I'll give you three tips about, you know, knowing your strong points, like I talked about, like what you're good at and what, you're, what you should utilize. So this month, I will encourage you to find your passion. You know, what do you enjoy doing? Um, what makes you happy? Um, that can be knitting, that can be sewing, that can be journaling, just anything, you know, find your, that's one of your strong points, things that you're passionate about, things that makes you happy. So you definitely want to find that because that'll put you into a happy place. Um, you know, life has its challenges. One day you wake up, you may be having a rough day. You had a rough day at work, but if when you get home from work and you can come in, work in your passion or do what you love to do, whether, like I say, that's sewing or knitting, you will be a lot happier further along, a lot happier um, at the end of the day. The second thing I want to talk about is December is a month of reflection, but it's also a month of giving. So with that being said, how can we serve others? So I want to encourage you to find out how you can serve someone this month. It may not necessarily be financially, but maybe you can take an elderly person to the grocery store. Maybe you can volunteer with some youth. Um, maybe you can join a nonprofit and just do some volunteer hours. So how can you serve someone this month? That's actually a part of your strong points, right? So as we talked about December being a month of reflection, but also a month of giving, it's a month of service. Um, another thing I want to tap into is make a list of things that you're good at. That's going to be very helpful because sometimes when we think about strong points, it don't necessarily always come to your mind, like what you're strong at. But if you make a list of things that you're good at, that can help you identify what your strong points are. And those are the tips that I have for you. Those were very short, kind of quick and to the point, but I hope I hope they were helpful. Um, yeah. 
So I'll go ahead and pass it on to Ashley and she'll talk about identifying your strong points as well. Yeah, most definitely. So short and sweet is always good. Um, I think a lot of times we don't necessarily need something that's super long and drawn out. It's like, okay, how can I get to the point and how can I make it work for me? So yeah. I appreciate the fact yeah. that you, um, you incorporated service in there mainly because mm -hmm. um, a lot of times we get, we forget that what we're good at can benefit somebody else. Um, so it's not, right. like, oh, well, how can I make myself better? And of course that's important, but if you're good at cooking, if you're good at, like you said, sewing, whatever it is, you can make somebody some clothes or you can make somebody a blanket because it's getting cold outside, you know, little things like that really do matter mm -hmm. that um, sometimes we do sell ourselves short in that arena. So that was a great point. But I mm -hmm. um, also have my notes here. And I will try to keep it short and sweet as well. I'll follow suit. <laughs> so I, I took the, um, the, the strategy of saying, okay, how do we, how do we recognize our strong suits and how do we make that work from a purpose perspective? So my first tip is going to be talk to yourself like you talk to your best friend. Um, I think a lot of times we are so good at uplifting other people, but when it comes to talking to ourselves, we're like, man, I failed again, or I didn't do what I was supposed to do, and I'm so this, I'm so that, I'm not, I'm not this enough, I'm not that enough, stop, rewind, would you talk to your best friend that way, would you talk to one of your, one, one of your loved ones that way, um, probably not, you probably say, oh my gosh, you're so great, you're, you're so good at this, what do you mean, why are you talking to yourself that way? do that same thing to you. So when you catch yourself getting into that space of like, oh, you know, doubt and fear or um, woe is me, shift that and say, hey, no, I'm actually great. Well, what, what's one good thing that I did today? What's, what's one thing I did right today? So practice that behavior and become pretty much your own best friend, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because we have to learn how to give ourselves the love that we give others. Because at the end of the day, it does start with, it does start with yourself first. So the second one is going to kind of be similar to what I just said, but it's give yourself credit for the small things. I think a lot of times when we have these big goals in place and we haven't necessarily gotten to the big goal, we kind of forget about the small victories that we've made along the way. And I think it's very important mm -hmm. to give yourself credit for that little thing. You know, if you mm -hmm. said you wanted to, mm -hmm. you know, be this big fitness person by the end of the year and you only worked out three times that year, congratulations, <laughs> you worked out three times that year. <laughs> Maybe, maybe you didn't hit your goal, but you did do something. So it's like, start giving yourself credit for that and see how you can build on the areas where you were strong in. So mm -hmm. um, third tip is going to be highlight your qualities. So I think a lot of times when we have these big goals in place, um, we'll think like, oh, well, I don't have, I don't have enough money to start my business or I don't have um, what it takes to be a millionaire. Or, I don't have what it takes to get that job or whatever your goal may be. Um, shift your shift your mindset you may not be in that position just yet but i'm sure you have some of the qualities that that are required to get to that space so let's just say for example you want right look at the qualities of millionaires do they get up early in the morning and you're a morning person okay well you have a quality of a millionaire do are they really good at networking and, and you love talking to people okay well you have a quality of a millionaire look at the qualities, just like shadana said listing the things that you're good at look at what you have that's going to help you get to where you want to be um, and highlight those things as possibly can. And then actually I have a bonus for y'all. Um, so, <laughs> so the bonus tip is actually going to be if somebody gives you a compliment, say thank you. Do not try to reach for a reason why they're wrong or even this may yeah. sound kind of uh, big headed, but don't even try to reach, always reach for a secondary compliment. Like if somebody tells you, oh, you look great today. Don't say, oh, yeah, you too. It's like, thank you. Actually, I took time getting yeah. dressed and I, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, allow yourself to be proud of where you are. Not saying that you don't have to, you know, give out compliments and things like that. But, and I think a lot of times when we do get compliments, we kind of pause and think like, oh, I'm, I'm not sure if that, if that's a true statement, let, let me reiterate and give them a compliment or let me say how it, how it, how it took me forever to get ready or how this dress is old or, you know, mm -hmm. whatever you feel like you need to say to deflect from that thing. No, it's okay to boast in that. It's okay to have that confidence mm -hmm. and it's okay to be proud of who you are and where you are. So those are my yeah. four tips today. And hopefully those yeah. were. Uh, 
Yeah, I like everything you said, but I definitely want to go back to the last part you mentioned about receiving. Like if someone give you a compliment, be, be open to say just thank you instead of having to like give them a compliment back or like, oh no, do I really look good? Because when you do that, you open open a door for receiving. You open a door for more compliments and more blessings and more gifts. And so mm -hmm. one thing I've learned, when you shy away from compliments or shy away from receiving, that's almost like God or the universe saying, okay, this person don't need anything she don't need extra money or she don't need extra this because you're closing the door from getting your compliments or from getting your gifts or your blessings so definitely be open to receiving um i liked how you talked about talking to yourself like that's very important i have to talk to myself on a regular basis and sometimes it sounds a little crazy because i talk to myself in public but my mind is constantly racing with several thoughts. But I think it's okay because during the day, you have to reflect on your thoughts. You have to think it out. And it's okay to talk to yourself. They mm -hmm. say as long as you don't answer yourself, then you should be good. So as long as you don't answer yourself. Um, um, another thing you talked about was celebrating your small wins. You know, you use the reference of exercising. Maybe you had a goal of exercising every week for the year, but you only exercise three times a year. Still celebrate those wins that you actually put in the time and effort to actually go and exercise. I know sometimes that take energy, it takes time. You, you may be a full-time wife, a full-time parent, work full-time, that is a lot on a person. So sometimes when you don't always meet those goals, it's okay, honey, show yourself some grace and celebrate when you do go to exercise or when you do fulfill that goal. And Ashley, you mentioned highlighting qualities. I think that's important too, because when you highlight your qualities and what you're good at, that's ultimately what's you're going to make you money, you know? Because honestly, just having a, a full-time job is just not enough these days. You really need like a side hustle or something that's going to keep you going. So if you highlight those qualities and what you're good at, you can find out what you can make extra money in. So... Mm -hmm. You definitely gave some some good tips so just to recap i talked about um knowing your strong points like what you were good at um finding your passion and actually living out that passion um whether that was sewing or knitting or journaling whatever it is that you do because that's going to be your happy place um touched on december being a month of service so serving others, see how you can get involved in some type of activity, some type of nonprofit group, some youth uh, organization or something. Serve others and make a look of things that you're good at. And that's it. Do you have any follow-up, Ashley? I think those were good. I think those were great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those were some really great tips. So. Um, if this is your first time watching or you're tuning in a little bit later, Ashley and I come on every Monday at 6 p.m. Standard Time giving you empowerment tips, women empowerment tips. But these tips can empower anybody. So I don't want to limit them to just women. Um, she and I are both coaches. Um, she focuses on living fabulously, sensuality. I focus on transformational coaching, like helping you walk in your purpose. So if you're interested in either of our services, we'll put our information in, in the description and in the comment box. We also have a workshop coming up on January the 8th. Um, it's called Activate, Accelerate, and Level Up Your Confidence. So if you are ready to live your life with passion and start walking in your purpose, we are having an in-person workshop in Houston, Texas. So if you're not in Houston, definitely make your way to the H-Town. Um, we'll put the information in the comment box to make sure you can register for that. And before we let you go, you can follow me at Influential Petite and my website, ShadanaMiranda.com, and then Ashley she'll tell you how you can follow her as well. Yeah, most definitely. So the best way to get in contact with me is going to be through my website, which is fablife31.com. And I will put that in the comments below. And I wanted to also, um, also add that we are going to be giving some things away for those of you who do register um, for the tickets. I mean, for the shop. So do not miss out on that because the, the folks who register in advance will, will be the only ones in that drawing. So We'll let you know what that is um, next week. <laughs> so just, just, uh, next just know week, that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you for mentioning it, actually. Ashley, that is definitely a special giveaway that we'll be doing. It's a drawing, and so it's one of those drawings that you don't want to miss out because we have some really good gifts. You know, it's Christmas time, so we're trying to spoil y'all and ball out, right, Ashley? So, yeah, definitely enter in that drawing, and the way to do that is by registering for the workshop. So, yeah, that's all the tips that we have for you today. Make sure you tune in next week. If you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends, send it to family members via text message, whoever you know need these tips. This is a time of helping people. This is one way you can serve somebody by sending them this video because it might change their life. So thank you for watching. Um, you know, I just want to let people know for those of you who are going to be watching the recording of this, um, if you have any questions, any tips on, you know, things that you want us to talk about on Mondays, let us know because we're here to serve mm -hmm. you. <laughs> we want to make sure that we yeah. are giving the most value possible. So if you guys have questions, even if it's not on Monday, you know, you want to reach out to either Shadena or I, feel free because we're here and that's what we're here for. So, yeah. Sounds good. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Ashley. Of course. Bye, everybody. Bye.